Uh, yeah, Paul, uh, not a great day at the office. Uh, two undefeated at home here. What were your thoughts on that? Thoughts was we um, we got what we deserved. We turned up, um, and I felt the way the way they started the game, they really wanted it more than us. And when people say oh, it hurts to say that, of course it hurts to say that when you know it's a minimum requirement. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to hide behind any any excuses of players being out. What what we had out today, minimum effort should be winning your battles, winning whoever you're up against, um, making more right decisions than them. But in every department, we came second best in that. Mm. And Liverpool manager last week said, you know, about tactics and things like that, and formations. It goes out the window when you don't win. You know, for your duels or your, you know, your individual battles and contests, and we didn't. And uh, I don't think we had a shot in the first half. I think we blocked our own. It was one effort. Um, and then in the second half, we mustered up a little bit. That was probably more to do with the the wind blowing that direction than than any real sort of play from us. But we we were so far off it to a man, which. You wonder because for the game on Saturday we we showed both sides. First half we were we were excellent. Uh, sorry, on Tuesday we were excellent. We we moved the ball. We created umpteen chances. Um, and second half we showed the resilience, the strength, the determination to to see the game through and then play it on the counter. So everything we everything we do, everything we work on, everything we speak about, everything we we try and instill was carried out. And then today. We just went so far away from it, and you can't be that inconsistent. You can't turn it off and on, and you can't just turn up and expect to win. Mm. Yeah, it was one of the more worrying things for both goals. The sort of Garrett's coming off, Ben's coming off his line, and he gets I've just there in the second we're just, half. I've just 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 pulled all the players in and and just said we seem to make more back passes yeah. to Ben than any other team, um, and I don't understand why. Um, other teams put it in areas, put it into into space, um, ask questions, and we seem to have to work really hard. We we, we seem to have to be creative and inventive and, and make things happen that way. Very rarely are we are fortunate when it comes to scoring. Um, you only have to look at you only have to look at the goals we've scored. Um, you know the good goals, good moves, and or good good set pieces with quality. So it's just um, frustrating for me, obviously disappointing, and, for, and and I know, obviously frustrating and disappointing for the fans because today was a, was a chance to um, build on Tuesday, and we've massively let ourselves down. Yeah, and at the end there, you had the players on the pitch after the after the game. You could see sort of players contributing to discussions about what was what was the thinking there and how how constructive was that. Yeah, I mean it's it's constructive, but it you know it 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 should be. It shouldn't it shouldn't be about what's said after the game. I just said we solve enough problems during the game. We don't. So if, we, if we're not solving enough problems when things aren't going right, why come away from what we're good at? Mm. And we tend to do that, and we tend to change and come away from our strengths as individuals and our strengths as a team, and that's when we cause our own problems. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's for me to to sort out. Um, but at times, when you when you when you're putting the side out and you, you give instruction of how you want the side to play, and you deliver it from a Tuesday, and then you come to a Saturday, and then it looks like you've you've never had a discussion or you've never done any training or coaching or sessions based on how you want to do things. It's so infuriating. Mm. I'll be honest, it's really infuriating because. We've obviously seen evidence of what we can do and how good we can be, but um, like I said before, if if we expect to turn up and win, the only thing that will be handed to us will be our backside because you never get handed the result. Mm. You'll never get handed that. That's you. You'll get handed your backside, and that's what we were, we were handed today. It's the nature of a bank holiday. Obviously, not much time to, to recover or move on. But how do we get in the right mindset for Newcastle? Wait, there's no. There's no other mindset we can be in, and that's mm. to be at it. We've we've massively disappointed today. 
in the other two league games I can say you know we've done alright mm. we've done well we've fell short of the result today we didn't deserve anything and we didn't sure deserve to win they came um, and from the first minute the nines going into challenges our two centre halves so don't really want to deal with them midfield was getting out battled out force up front we didn't win any headers we didn't get hold of the ball we didn't have a shot um, our throw ins I said you know we didn't keep the ball from a throw in they were bouncing it round our players from throw ins um, it was just every aspect of the game I, I asked if any player could put their hand up and say I done alright today mm. and there wasn't one mm. and that's just alright yeah. I didn't even say we done well yeah. so that's obviously uh, what you said at the very beginning about the, the office yeah.